Welcome back to part three. She's the Hollywood superstar who's conquered the charts and become my American Idol. It's the gorgeous Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> That dress is amazing. It's tight. Like it's... my son said, that dress is too tight! Oh. I said, you've been talking to your father too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging around your dad too much. <laughs> Whoa. Champagne. Really? There's nothing I like better than a tight dress on a woman and a glass <laughs> of champagne. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. Wow! Excuse me for a minute. Oh. <laughs> right. Thank you. Pink. Oh, good. And blue. Oh, yeah, it's appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, you must have champagne all the time, don't you? You're like, oh, boring champagne. No, no, I don't drink. I don't really drink much. Oh, I do. <laughs> I'll toast it. Drink with loads. you. Yeah, drink, drink loads? Yeah! You can get off with strangers. Yeah! <laughs> have a kebab? Have you had a kebab before? No. Oh, we are going out later, Jane. <laughs> Honestly, kebab, it's like a... It's like a... Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Enchanté. Come on. Salud. Oh, salud. I know salud. Bottoms up. That's what we yes. say over here. Bottoms Be careful where you say that, though. But um... <laughs> You could get into serious trouble. Look at well, your new album. Yes. Love. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I know it's amazing. It's Thank amazing. Thank the you. reaction to it has been out of this world, and it's been number one all over. Yeah, I on mean, the it's floors yeah. And big hit and... Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. You know. You've been doing it for a long... I've been doing it for a long time, and when you've been doing it for a long time, you think, OK. People say, oh, does it get old? It just never gets old. It never gets old when people enjoy what you do. You say the album's about what you've learned from love. Yeah, and Pass haven't on what learned. On what you haven't <laughs> learned. Yeah. Tell me what you've learned and what you haven't learned. Well, no, it's just about, you know, how we... It's always a very kind of complex topic, mm. you know what I mean? And you have to kind of... Just always keep questioning yourself and pushing yourself, I think, to be better. And that was where kind of the, the, the title came from. Yeah. What was your first love? Did you have one at school? I did. I was, like, 13 years old. Yeah. Was I 13? Yeah, the, the summer I turned 14 years old was the first time I fell in love. Oh. Yeah. That's nice. Awesome. Long time ago. <laughs> oh, who was it? This kid next door. Name was Louis. Oh. I don't want to say it because <laughs> it's going to be on YouTube tomorrow. No, no, don't worry. Like, no. Lucky D. Yeah, we'll take your name. We'll, we'll pixelate your face yeah, and his name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mum's face from A Team. Yeah. Do you remember A Team? Face, the good looking one. That was your first love? <laughs> I didn't go on the telly. I didn't. It was a, a, no, I didn't go. No, it was on the telly. I went. He didn't go to my school. He wasn't next door. He was like, no, you only fancy someone. He didn't love me. No. He didn't? No, no, it was just through the telly. Unrequited love. Yes. <laughs> tragic. I couldn't have a first... It was quite tragic, really. <laughs> no, I never had one in the flesh. I just had right. it through telly. Right. Yeah. You know, I have to tell you, everywhere, you know, since I've been, I've been here a few days, and I've been around, and I told everybody I was coming to do your show. And yeah. I have to say, everybody just loves you. They love you. Everybody. Thank you. Oh, I know it's true. It's true. It is true. Oh, no. But it's true. Everybody, they're like, oh, my God, I love him. Oh, oh you know, such a good time. Oh, oh we, 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 we will have a good time. Yeah, well, Look at that free champagne. What more do you want? <laughs> we'll sing later. Yes, yeah. and you're going to dance. And I'm going to dance. <laughs> I'm bogling as we speak. <laughs> That's my Latin blood. Yes. <laughs> you started work on the album when you were pregnant, it was a lot of hormones flying about. Yes, you... there were. Yeah. She was getting angry, like, started crying. No, <laughs> you know, it's true, you do, you do feel like crying and screaming and saying whatever you want. 
It was fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun time. And I did, do, I did work on some music, and I started the album at that time. And you do. You have a lot of things that you start rethinking everything. You know, yeah. when you become a mom, and, you know, all the moms in the audience know this, you know, it changes your life to have children and yeah. in the best way. And, and you just really start having a different perspective. And you've had twins. You had twins we, in 2008. I did. They're oh. three years old now. They're here, actually. Really? Oh. Are you a very hands-on mom? I try to be, yes. I mean, I'm a working mom too, yeah, so yeah. you know, you know, everybody knows how that is. It's tough, but you know, I try to keep them with me as close as I can. They're backstage, so I can see them later. You can see them later. Oh, <laughs> and you call them your coconuts? Yes, I do. You know why? Because you know. <laughs> Cute. No, you know why? Because when they were little and they were just growing their hair, it does look like a coconut. <laughs> right? It, it's like so fuzzy, and you're like, when is their hair going to get better? <laughs> when is it not going to be so patchy? Yeah. And so every morning when I go get Emmy or Max and I see them, I'm like, you're a little coconut. They look like a coconut. Yes. And it just stuck. Yeah, yeah, good. And they are, and it's just like, it's a good name for them. Because when you said on Twitter about, oh, my coconuts... Yeah, you were like, what? I'm thinking, oh, I'm... <laughs> right, I thought, oh, right. someone's been on the few uh, champagne. <laughs> <laughs> my oh. coconuts. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's funny. I never thought of that, because I think of my babies. Yeah, and you have... <laughs> you're not a pervert like me. Right. <laughs> How did you react when you, you found out you were going to have twins? I laughed. I <laughs> laughed and Mark cried. And, but he <laughs> cried from happiness. And I yeah. laughed out of, you know, I just couldn't believe it. I just yeah. couldn't believe it, yeah. I didn't even believe that I was pregnant because I had, you know, just taken so long to... We had been really, like, three years married already. And I don't know, I just thought maybe it wasn't for me, like it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And then it just did one day. And then it was two. Oh. <laughs> I was so. like, whoa. <laughs> so, oh. But it was, it's amazing, yeah. and I love it, and I'm yeah. very lucky. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. You know what? <laughs> you, th you do think of those things. You're yeah. like, which one is my favorite? But I, you don't. You don't have a favorite. My no, mom always used to say that when we were young, you know what I mean? You don't. Look at, how can you pick a favorite? Come oh, I know. Coconuts. And what a mate, that, that's a Gucci advert as yeah. well, isn't it? How cool are those kids being in a Gucci advert? That's amazing, isn't it? I know. It was for UNICEF. It was a nice thing. It was good. I've read in the paper that you've made friends with another Hollywood mum. Who's that? Da uh, Victoria Beckham. David Beckham. David, yes. <laughs> Over here, he's seen as a woman. <laughs> Davina Beckham. And, uh, <laughs> And yes, I do know Victoria, oh. and I actually just saw her. Yeah, I just saw her a couple of weeks ago. We were with her belly and everything. Yeah, and yeah. She's so excited. What sort of stuff do you and Mark get up to with David and Vic? So you get at the Twister, a bit clued Well, out. it's funny, you know. <laughs> when I saw her, she was like, we have to go see Hangover 2. Oh, yeah. And I, <laughs> I said, I was like, but why that specific? She was like, because remember, we went and saw Hangover together. So it's a tradition. Now we have to go see Hangover too. So when I get back to LA, we're going to go see it. Hopefully, oh. it'll still be in theaters by the time I get back there. Can you imagine the people behind you and Victoria Beckham in the cinema? <laughs> Can you imagine that? What's we going sneak on? in through the kitchen. Really? Yeah. You're not, you're J-Lo. You can't just do that. I do. I know you no, say you're Jenny and, from the block, but you don't we bloody do sneak it. through a kitchen. <laughs> to go to a view cinema. <laughs> We, um, and we go, like, we go really dressed down in sweats, and that's the part, you know, she yeah. was like, we'll go in sweats again, and da-da-da. I, I was bet, like, okay. I bet it's and fun. And sneakers, and... I bet it's fun, isn't it, dressing down? It's like being in disguise, isn't it? It must be. A little isn't bit. It? Yeah. Yeah, when you have to wear these all day. Yeah, oh, I know. What a drag. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got to talk about your performance with Mark on the American Idol final. Oh, the finale, yeah. The finale. Oh, yeah, finale. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, just have a look at Jennifer <laughs> dancing with her husband. <laughs> Ay Dios, tú ves. Ay, que me critique a mí. There's a joke, there's a joke to that. More than what you see, the, which, is, which is he can hold notes forever. And it was funny because he 
not supposed to hold that note, but because I was doing that step, he just kept holding the note, holding the note, holding the note. And it just became a joke in rehearsal. And he's like, I'm going to hold it on stage, too. And I was like, don't hold it too long. Yeah. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> but not as long as he could have, which no. I appreciated. Did it actually hurt to do that? It no, looks, not no. at all. Really? Was you, was you born with that lovely bum? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, no, I mean, did you do any exercises like, um... Not really. Squats is meant to be quite good, no, to No, to keep in shape, for sure. Yeah, yeah. but I, do, I want a bum, I don't want to keep fit, I just want a bum. <laughs> I want a nice bum, that walking down the street, people go, oh, my God, look at that ass. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, I want <laughs> Is it an urban myth? that you insured your bum for, yes. for $27 million. Is it, that true? The myth was a billion dollars. A and it billion? Was, yes, and it was ridiculous. And it was years ago. And I believe it originated in the UK. As if we would make up such a scandalous <laughs> lie. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Very discreet. Yeah. Your bum is uh, the bum that most women want to have, isn't it? I mean, it's top of surveys, everyone mentions your bum, but there's a new bum in town. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, you take that two different ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pippa Middleton. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you know who Pippa Middleton is? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, she's a, Kate, Kate's sister. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! She is like, everyone is talking about her bum. People are going in saying, can I have a pipper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not having a bum off. I'm just telling her. <laughs> I don't think we need to compete. No, no, no. For any titles. It's kind of ridiculous. No, no, you've got a lovely bum. I'm not, Thank I'm, not you. I'm just saying there's a... You know, I mean, I just wish she'd done that dance you did down the aisle. That right. Was... <laughs> it was very exciting. Oh, I know. Very Wasn't exciting Prince Philip? twist to the wedding. If yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take a break now, yes. and I'm going to chat with you after the break. Is yes. that okay? Yes. Yeah. Join us again in part four when Jennifer and I will be chatting some more and to be performing. <laughs> Welcome back to part four. You're never going to guess who's here. It's only Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> now, you're going to be performing for us in a bit. Yes. But I have to ask you about American Idol. OK. Now, you recently finished your first series as a judge on the show. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with Randy Jackson and Janice Dickinson? <laughs> <laughs> what? Working with uh, Steven and Randy. Oh my God! Because yeah. I was just like, dude, looks like a lady. <laughs> I didn't even get the irony. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Oh, well, she's a model. She can't even sing. <laughs> <laughs> you must enjoy it. Do I do. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had a really yeah. good time. Um, I knew I would have fun. It was even more fun than I thought. But it was also uh, quite emotional. You oh, know? I know. I know. You don't hold back, do you? No. I mean, you're crying all the time. I didn't cry all the time. I cried once or yeah, twice. Yeah, but when you cried, you really let it go. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, I you... felt like crying. Well, you need to tough. You need to toughen up. <laughs> look, look at that. That's not just like dabbing your cheek. That's like I can't go on. <laughs> You need to toughen up like Janice Dickinson. She don't even cry. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. You almost didn't do American Idol. Was it true you were wooed by Simon Cowell for X Factor in America? Um, uh, both, both shows spoke to me, yes. Yeah. And you said no to Simon Cowell. No one says no to I Simon Cowell. I said yes to American Idol. <laughs> You know, Simon, he's so powerful right. here. Me just talking to you about X Factor puts my life in danger. <laughs> is that true? He is so powerful over here, J-Lo. Really? You shouldn't mess with him. No, I didn't. You didn't? You went, mm, I mm, went to mm. Idol. See you, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble. I, I know, I know. I won't be here next week. No. <laughs> You've only signed up for one series of American yes. Idol, but apparently they've offered you $20 million to go back. They did? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to get on the phone then. 
That sounds pretty good. I know. That is a lot of money. You've got to think of your coconuts. That's exactly. <laughs> You know, I, I mean, have not decided whether I'm going back yet. Yeah, yeah. I just, there, it's not time, and I have a lot of things happening, yeah. and I, I really got to decide if I'm going to do a, a film or if I'm going to go on tour or if I'm going to go back to TV. Or... Yeah. You haven't told, you haven't told. You've done Latin America, but you never did a big world no, tour. No, you're right, I haven't. And, I, and it's something should. that we've talked about a lot. And with this album, I think, you know, we might have the possibility of actually doing it. So we'll see. I don't yeah. know. But that's, that's why everybody's like, oh, are you going back to Idol? And the truth is, I really just don't know yet. Um, it, it, there's a big story over here, Cheryl Cole. She got sacked from uh, American X Factor before it even started. Right. Was it a big splash in the States? Um, yeah, we heard about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, don't, I never believe stories until I hear it from the person themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I don't really know what happened there, so to be fair to her. Well, if she told you, you wouldn't understand her anyway, because she's a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Clever. Now you're going to perform for us now. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you're going to get. You're not doing it that. You're going to get changed. Yes, I'm going to change. Yeah. Oh, we've got like this lovely screen. Maybe you could go and get changed behind that while you. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, everyone. <laughs> yeah. You. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Are you all right, Jayla? Do you want a hand? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember you having all these clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did you pull that from? <laughs> are, are you ready, love? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Oh, Jennifer, ready! Come on! Jennifer's going to perform for us. Oh, wow. That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Jonathan Ross, David Hay and Jennifer Lopez. I'll be back next Friday when I'll be joined by Elle McPherson, Louis Walsh will be talking about Cheryl Cole and all things X Factor. And Sir Bruce Forsyth will be here. And there's music from the Kaiser Chiefs. But now I have an exclusive performance of my new single, I'm Into You. It's Jennifer Lopez. Welcome to Friday Night with me, Jonathan Ross. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been messed. Oh. <laughs> Don't patronise me, Alicia. <laughs>